too much. I swear that these niggas they be doing too much. I ain't got it. What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to Maniachi TV, man. Today we got Takashi Six Nine, and we got another one of his antics. Now listen, before I even get further in this video, or even show these pictures, I gotta say this. I feel like this right here probably has taken it too far. Not even probably. This is definitely taking it too far now. So I feel like 6ix9ine wants Lil Durk's attention so bad. He wants Lil Durk to acknowledge him so bad he's going to these lengths right here. So listen, a little less than a half hour ago, takashi 69 posted a picture, a couple of pictures on his Instagram with the caption reading, if a, a killer ain't dead, you shouldn't wear no RIP shirts, referring to the Back in Blood song. And with the location tag on the picture being hell, it's one picture of him wearing a t-shirt with King Von on it. He followed it up with another picture, pretty much mocking King Von's death. He's laying in the street with the hashtag, pick your man up. Now, first thing I could think of when I saw that is bad karma. You know, to talk down on a dead like that, you know, I, I feel like it's nothing but bad karma. And I know a lot of people can get in the comments and say, you know, this is what they do. You know, they diss each other all the time and all that stuff. But you got to realize, man, 6 9 is literally trolling these boys. He's he's making it seem like they, they've had this deadly beef for years. The way that the Chicago dudes look at 6 9 they look at him as like a troll on the internet that is desperate for attention to promote his next song, his next album, his next music video. Ain't no blood been shed from 6 ix 9 side. Like, he's literally... He, he wants Lil Durk's attention so bad that he's gonna go... He's gonna get as disrespectful as he can possibly get just to get his attention. Now I saw something the other day, you know, his security suing him for seventy five thousand or whatever, man. Six now, you better not screw that security over, because that's your lifeline. If you screw them over, you might as well stay in the house. You might as well stay in the house, because I feel like we're we're past we way past the point of this just being a music beef. Or just being about who can sell the most albums, who can do more Lil Durk and 6 9 It's past that now. This is personal now. Everything that he said on that Instagram live, everything that he's been posting on Instagram, man, it's personal. I don't know, man. Everybody gonna have their own opinions on it. I know I'm having a lot of people talking shit in the comments, man. But y'all entitled to y'all own opinions on this. I'm just letting y'all know mine. Now, I don't know, man. What y'all think about this whole situation? Sound off in the comment section down below. Did 6 9 go too far? I'm gonna answer that for y'all. Yeah. Yeah, he went too far on this. He went way too far on this, man. I don't know. I don't know, man. Like I said, sound off in the comment section down below. If y'all new to the channel, y'all rock with me. Want daily reaction videos and hip-hop news? Hit that subscribe button. Follow me until the next video. I'll see y'all then. Thank you for watching Maniachi TV. I'm out. I ain't gotta do too much. I swear that these niggas, they be doing too much. I ain't gotta do